Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Google Sheets file that you can use to track your employee training. If this is the first time you're on my channel, I'm posting Excel and Google Sheets tips, tricks, files, and things that I do. So if you like that kind of stuff, please click on that subscribe button below so you don't miss on the new content. This is a very uh, simple sheet. It has file, sorry, has two sheets, employee tracking over here and the dashboard that shows you um, the, um, the status per department. So imagine you have um, many people and they are in, s in different departments and they all need to go through some sort of training like HR training or financial or I don't know. Any, any kind of training that you want to see and you want to track um, who did what and if there's anything that's still open and you know maybe send email reminders if the time is getting uh, urgent um, so that's what you can do over here a setup is very simple first of all you set up in the dashboard the name of the departments you just write them over here then you go to the employee training and you have the employee name you decide which department they are. So this is the drop-down list coming from the dashboard. The two um, columns here in blue are going to be um, auto-populated. Uh, you can define when do you want to see a yellow um, color for a cell, and that means that 10 days within 10 days of the due date, you will see this cell in yellow. And if it's a negative or if it's past due, it will be uh, red. So these two will be auto-populated. You need to set up the due date for each training and their name. So you have the name, the due date, etc., etc. And inside, just fill out the dates. You know when this was um, uh, completed. So for example, if I want to add, let's say someone completed that, this one. And let's say they already completed this one. So now you see that they have seven days left to complete the next training session, which is training number seven. Um, so this shows you for each person, gives you that red flag or that yellow flag within the range. If you set the range to be five, so it's not going to show you seven days out. So that 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 ten day range is supposed to give you a heads up. Who you need to uh, check and notify that they're they're late so these are just um, info these are the dates about the formula here so what it does basically it, it uses the this function array formula lookup um, to one to find the last value that's inputted that returns an index and then I'm using the match for the, um, this line to return the name of the, um, uh, the training itself. But on top of that, I'm, I want to show you the next training session. So not the first one, that's why I'm using the offset. So I'm using that with the offset and basically um, um, forwarding um, the cell. So you get that number. So you see this person has training number seven, this has training number seven. And if someone completes everything, it's just going to return a blank. Okay? So that's about this next training. The time to complete, that's uh, pretty simple. So again, I'm looking for um, um, whatever uh, training is next. I'm looking for that value over here in, in row number two, and then just returning the um, uh, the, uh, the relevant due date using offset and minus today that gives me that number so for example today we're on the fifth so that gives me the fifth over here if I change that to let's say the seventh so I would get a different timing if you want to want to add a person just copy um, the row below that's easiest new and you can select which department also adding a new training is also simple just 
I don't even need to copy. You can just take that over here, call that training number eight, and uh, give it a date. I don't know, March. And then this person now does have 38 days to complete uh, their last training. So that's the employee tracking in the dashboard. We have the department column that you set up. The number of employees is a simple count if. Okay, it counts how many employees there are here. Percentage of completion of past due. So this is this shows you on a department level how many um, how many people per, uh, completed what was needed by the due date. So again, I'm using a yellow range and a plus 10 days. So it shows you that you need to focus on these two trainings for this department. It also gives you a red for the sales department where already in uh, training two, three, four, and five, they are past due. The same for the HR and marketing. So how is this calculated? This is just, I'm using transpose, transpose, just to um, collect all the, all the um, cells here. So I just use double transpose, and you see it already brings me that uh, new uh, uh, training that I set up. This um, simple one or zero, if the date is past due, so it gives me a um, one, otherwise it's a zero, meaning it has to be. And then I'm using count ifs for the employee, and uh, I wanna make sure that that column is greater than zero. So that's gonna count me the number of employees per department that filled out the date. And the completion percentage, the completion percentage is simply the uh, um, I'm multiplying those numbers times one or zero. That should give me the number of people that completed for the relevant period divided by the uh, um, number of people times the same day. So that's the maximum number of people divided, sorry, the people that participated divided by the maximum number of people. That's going to give me the percentage. Now if I add another column, I just need to copy the formulas over here. And it will also paste the values plus the conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is very simple. Format, conditional formatting. First rule that if C1, which is the date of today, is greater than D2, when D2, sorry, then the date of the column, and D4 is great is less than B4, so meaning the number itself is less than the maximum number, number then you give it a one or a zero, and if it's a one, you give it a red color. The second one is very similar, only that I'm changing the date to this one, and then it's a yellow color. So it's a very simple con double conditional formatting. Over here, I also had conditional formatting. It's even easier. Format, conditional formatting. Just if the value is less than zero, it's red. And if it's less than whatever number you put here, it's yellow. And of course, when you copy the cells, they are, they contain the, um, the formatting as well. All right, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this content. Um, if you did, please hit that subscribe button, press that like button, leave a comment if you have any questions, or if you want to get this tracker, um, and I'll see you next time. Take care now.